In each relationship, whether it's with friends, family, or new acquaintances, trust plays a crucial role. In this video, I'll explore nine types of individuals whom you might want to approach with caution when it comes to trust. It's essential to take note of the characteristics I'll discuss, but there's no need to scrutinize every word and action deeply. It's important to observe both their words and deeds to truly grasp their nature. I'll delve into each of these personality types, explaining why it might be wise to exercise caution in trusting them completely. If you detect someone exhibiting these behaviors, it's advisable to be vigilant and reconsider before placing your full trust in them as a genuine friend or partner. When I refer to not respecting, I don't mean showing disrespect or unkindness as that contradicts stoic principles. Instead, it's about recognizing when it's necessary to distance yourself from individuals whose actions could have a negative impact on your life or well-being. The initial type of individual is frequently critical, constantly finding fault, especially with others. If you notice someone frequently speaking ill of others, it reveals more about their character than about those they criticize. Such a critical demeanor unveils significant aspects of their personality, and distancing yourself from them can help preserve positive relationships. Moreover, if they engage in spreading rumors about others, it's probable they do the same about you in your absence. Thus, it's prudent to keep your distance. People who habitually engage in gossip, spreading rumors and undermining others' reputations typically lack positive qualities in their conduct. They exploit others' vulnerabilities to garner attention in social circles. You might even become a target of their gossip. As you watch this video, reflect on those who dedicate their time to criticizing and spreading rumors. Often, these individuals aren't occupied with productive endeavors like work or personal and financial responsibilities. They reveal their discontent and lack of purpose through unnecessary remarks about others. Therefore, it's wise to exercise caution and refrain from divulging your personal life and plans to them. It's advisable to show no regard and steer clear of those who speak negatively about others, as they might do the same about you. The second type is someone who always appears friendly with everyone, continuously wearing a smile, radiating positive vibes, and asserting their availability to you at any time. While they may appear affable and outgoing, exercise caution when placing your trust in them. Such prudence is necessary because individuals who strive to please everyone and maintain a positive facade often prioritize their own popularity over genuine connections. To them, you might simply be another individual in their social circle, a means to garner and retain attention. These individuals typically crave attention and companionship, inhabiting a realm of pretense. Hence, exercise, caution, as someone overly extroverted and popular might easily replace you. Exercise caution with the third type, manipulative individuals. It's imperative for preserving healthy relationships and safeguarding your emotional well-being. Manipulators are characterized by their self-serving conduct, often seeking personal gain at the expense of others. They commonly employ tactics such as deceit, mind games, and emotional manipulation to achieve their objectives. Their manipulative strategies can be subtle, making them challenging to identify immediately. This behavior can manifest in various contexts, from personal interactions to professional settings. Placing trust in such individuals can result in betrayal, emotional turmoil, and a breakdown of trust. It's essential to recognize signs of manipulation for your own protection. These indicators include vague communication, inconsistent behaviors, and a persistent sense of being under someone's influence. Establishing clear boundaries is crucial. Assertively expressing discomfort and setting boundaries when encountering manipulative behavior aids in your protection. At times, the best course of action is to distance yourself, particularly if the manipulation persists. Respecting yourself entails recognizing when a relationship is detrimental and taking measures to safeguard your mental well-being. This may entail severing ties with manipulative individuals and seeking support for your emotions. Avoiding trust and respect for manipulators constitutes a vital self-care strategy. By identifying signs of manipulation, establishing boundaries, and prioritizing your well-being, you can cultivate healthier and more authentic relationships. The fourth type to exercise caution around is someone lacking empathy, inclined to deceive or harm others for personal gain. They are unable to empathize with others or comprehend their emotions, rendering them less reliable. Empathetic individuals typically refrain from causing harm, 
as they grasp the repercussions of their actions. If someone feels at ease inflicting harm on others, it often signifies a deficiency in empathy, diminishing their trustworthiness. Additionally, such individuals frequently shirk accountability for their actions, as untrustworthy individuals tend to be self-centered, prioritizing their own interests while disregarding the consequences of their behavior. The fifth type to be wary of is the individual who feigns listening. You may encounter someone who, in an effort to sustain a conversation, provides generic responses like, I understand, or that's true, without genuine engagement. This isn't merely tedious, it's also indicative of disrespect. The most exasperating aspect occurs when it's your turn to speak, and they feign interest but are preoccupied with their phone, or superficially agree without genuine interest in your words. When engaging in conversation, it's natural to anticipate active listening from the other party. Therefore, if you find yourself conversing with someone disinterested or persistently distracted by their phone, it's entirely reasonable to conclude the discussion. It's akin to conversing with oneself. Continuing a dialogue with someone who isn't attentive or doesn't value your words is futile. You needn't invest your time in someone who doesn't appreciate what you have to say. Don't hesitate to terminate the conversation or express your intention to depart. You're not obligated to maintain respect for someone who disregards your words and opts to feign attention while being distracted. Exercise caution with the sixth type, the perpetual victim, entangled in conflicts and perceiving life as an unending succession of challenges. They remain dissatisfied, yet exert minimal effort to ameliorate their circumstances. This individual frequently bemoans their plight to everyone accentuating their ongoing tribulations and expressing bewilderment regarding their situation. It's essential to exercise caution around such individuals. If someone is perpetually ensnared in a cycle of predicaments, it's crucial to recognize that it's not merely a streak of misfortune or a universal conspiracy. They contribute to their own misfortunes through poor decisions and failure to learn from their mistakes. Entangling yourself with someone who perpetually confronts challenges can result in these issues encroaching upon your life. They may also grapple with emotional regulation. Hence, it's prudent to maintain a degree of skepticism with such individuals. If you feel compelled to assist someone mired in a morass of difficulties, be mindful that their problems could become yours. It's imperative to acknowledge that an individual who perennially encounters obstacles and drama likely confronts genuine struggles, which you shouldn't assume as your own, particularly since everyone contends with their own share of challenges. Consequently, it's vital to exercise caution in your interactions with individuals of this ilk. The seventh type is the individual who constantly annoys you and adamantly believes they're always right. It's natural to experience impatience with someone occasionally, especially during trying times. However, if you constantly find their presence irksome, even during tranquil moments, it could indicate they're subtly provoking you with perplexing notions and doubts. Exercise extreme caution. These emotional and psychological ploys often unfold subtly and gradually, making it challenging to discern their intentions. Some individuals derive pleasure from provoking others. Pay close attention to these subtle manipulations, as they're easily overlooked. Persistent irritation from someone suggests they're subtly pushing your buttons through their actions and words. Monitor these actions closely and be prepared to address them with mindfulness. Toxic individuals necessitate maintaining distance from them to preserve healthy relationships and safeguard your emotional well-being. These individuals are notorious for disseminating negativity, undermining self-assurance, and fostering a deleterious environment. Their toxic traits can encompass incessant negative criticism, emotional manipulation, and disrespectful conduct. The presence of such individuals often engenders a corrosive atmosphere, undermining your happiness and efficacy. The detrimental negativity propagated by toxic individuals can permeate and affect those in their proximity. Cultivating healthy relationships entails identifying and steering clear of these pernicious elements. Associating with toxic individuals often compromises self-esteem as they exploit doubts and insecurities. Respecting yourself involves recognizing toxicity, establishing boundaries, and tending to your emotional welfare. It's imperative to communicate assertively and express discomfort when confronted with toxic behavior. However, if the negativity persists, 
Distancing yourself becomes imperative for preserving your mental health. Refraining from trusting or respecting toxic individuals constitutes a strategy for emotional self-preservation. By identifying deleterious inclinations, setting boundaries, and seeking out positive relationships, you can foster a healthier environment and more gratifying interactions. Beware of the ninth type. Those who feign appreciation to your face but clandestinely propagate detrimental rumors about you and others. It shouldn't come as a surprise if you find yourself the subject of gossip. These individuals adeptly transition from amiable smiles and conversations to disparaging you behind your back. Upon observing such duplicitous behavior, it's advisable to promptly terminate the relationship. Integrity and honesty are indispensable in any relationship. Dealing with duplicitous individuals can prove toxic and injurious. Consequently, prioritizing your tranquility and well-being is imperative. Once you discern such two-faced conduct, distancing yourself emerges as the wisest course of action, as it can forestall various negative repercussions on your life. If there's a type of person we overlooked, feel free to mention them in the comments. Alternatively, if you've encountered any of the types discussed in this video, we'd appreciate hearing about your experiences in the comments section. I trust you found this message beneficial. If you enjoyed the video, kindly leave a comment. Your feedback greatly aids us. Moreover, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, consider doing so now. Our channel dispenses invaluable insights and subscription is complimentary. Thank you for watching. Don't overlook our special video next, which will further enrich your comprehension of Stoicism.